Just like that, the journey we started a month ago is reaching its conclusion. And like every good story, this one had it all. A great cast of characters in a dynamic setting. There's been drama, tension, heartbreak, and heroics along the way. A month and a half of preparation and competition have flown by, all leading to this very moment, the grand finale. Valiente has breezed through the competition unbeaten and would love to repeat as Colorado Open champions. For 12-year-old Poroto Cambiasso, this will be his first appearance in a high goal final. He will try to replicate his stellar performance against Scone just a few weeks ago, except this time in front of the big crowd at Polo Fest. Taking on the heavy favorites is Australian-based Scone Polo Team. Their whole season has been a battle, and they will look to carry that momentum into the final match with the hope of dethroning the reigning champs. So settle in, get comfy, because we have one more chapter before we close the book on this Colorado Open season. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Polo Fest, a beautiful day here in Littleton, Colorado. There's food, drinks, music, and great high gold polo ahead of us. All proceeds today go toward the Equine Partnership Program. So eat, drink, and be merry. Thousands of people came out to Polo Fest, many of whom had never seen polo before. Throughout the day, people of all ages jumped on a horse for the first time, danced to great music, and enjoyed being outdoors with their friends. Fest helped bring awareness to the Equine Partnership Program, a local equine therapy school. The vibe was really cool. The crowd that made it out there this year was amazing. While the atmosphere and festivities offer plenty of fun, people came out to see some polo. And with Valiente and Scone all geared up and ready to go, that's exactly what they're about to receive. Ball's out of the umpire's hand, shocker number one off and working. As you would expect, both teams came out firing. The greatest of all time, the GOAT, Adolfo Cambiasso scored a huge spot hit from a football field away. Cambiasso fires one. A deep shot, 90 yards out there. Adolfo Cambiasso drawing first blood here. But Scone wasn't about to lay down. They pushed the pace, adjusted their game, and made sure that Valiente knew they were there to play. Nero's back in it, nice moves. Nero, driving through traffic, Augustine Nero on the doorstep, puts a point on the board. Pushback is nothing for Valiente. What's that they say? Teamwork makes the dream work, especially when it comes from the team's player owner. With the second chucker coming to a close, Bob Gernavis sent the pinpoint pass, and Peloto got his first goal of the game to put Valiente up three to one. But yet again, Scone showed resilience and veteran player Tatu Romero makes a full field run to score and bring the deficit back to one. The shot towards goal takes a bounce, it's high, it's through. A high flag there, Scone needed that one. They pulled within one here. As the game progressed, it proved to be the slugfest everyone was hoping for. Each team going tit for tat, vying to be the winner of this year's Polo Fest. Poroto Cambiasso, Bob Dronavis takes out the defender. Poroto Cambiasso being careful to keep the legs of that pony away from that little white ball. Claro, can he get it done? Tattoo Romero looking for room to work there. The next shot inside under the pony of Cambiasso Jr. It's in. With the break in the action, it was also time for the fans to come out onto the field and help stop divots and maybe get some content for the gram. To start the second half, Peroto does not allow Scone to build any momentum, and Valiente picks up right where they left off. Hits downfield for Cambiasso Jr. Peroto. 
Nice work there. Poroto Cambiasso going to goal. Can he get it done? Cambiasso coming across the front of the screen. Cambiasso Jr. cuts it in. It's through. Nice work there. When you're playing the best, you have to make every opportunity count. And Scone unfortunately let several golden opportunities slip through their fingers and right past the goal. The accumulation of these little mistakes would prove to be Scone's undoing, and Valiente began to run away with the game. Quietly great since the first chucker, and with the game coming to a close, Adolfo mounts his stallion, aptly named Festival, for the fifth time in the game. For Festival to play five times during one single game is really impressive. Not many horses have the stamina to do that. And Adolfo leaves the crowd with one more tasty bit of skill to take away from Polo Fest. And yes, that's as hard as it looks. Valiente started off with the lead, maintained control, and answered every challenge that Scone presented. They secure a second straight Colorado Open victory. For the youngster, he walks away with his first Heigl MVP award one of many to come if his current trajectory holds true. Although the season is over, the party carries on. Polo Fest has been a success. Thousands of people have been introduced to polo and leave with a greater appreciation of the sport. For our characters, the polo continues elsewhere. Another season, another grind, another place. Carrying on the traditions of one of the greatest sports of all time. Hopefully next year we'll come back and play the Colorado Open again. Thank you for joining us for the first season of In the Saddle. Be sure to visit polochannel.com to view the entire series and to stay up to date on everything in the world of polo. We hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.